Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just couldn't sleep. I'm trying to do a few things. Um, I know it's very, very late. It's 2.23 UK time. I should be in bed, but I'm worried sick about what's going on back home, and I'm sure many of us are. Um, I'm having a lot of sleepless nights and concerns about what's happening back home in Yoruba land, in Tiv land, in Biafra land, um, and the Fulanese giving themselves guns to kill us. They're not up to 10 million and they're trying to control and kill 90, 190 million people. Um, the numbers they don't stack up, don't stack up in their favor. If we just wake up from our slumber, that's the question I keep telling those who believe in this one Nigeria. Now, I'm shortly going to play you a clip. Um, there is the, the, earlier in the clip, there is a clip where there are dead bodies lying on the floor. If I play that, I know Facebook will bring this broadcast down. Hence, I'm not playing it. It's that clip is just before what I'm just about to play you. But I want you to listen to clear, listen carefully to what Governor Autumn says. Listen. The same killings are taking place. This is not right. The federal government have refused to take proactive steps to arrest this ugly situation that we are witnessing here today. You will recall that I alerted the entire nation when Fulanese in 14 countries met in Yola and declare that except we repeal the prohibition of open grazing law, then we will not know peace. And on the ground, I did say that I was targeted for elimination to be assassinated, and that was done on me. It's only God that saved me. And I did say they are going after my people. So federal government should arrest the leadership of Mayor Tiala Kajan Hore that hosted that meeting. Oh, today, nothing has been done. Exactly. Now, I'm sure Governor Autumn now, the next few words you will hear him say will make you understand that he now categorically understands where he and his people stand. If they don't stand and defend themselves now, the Fulanese will overrun them. You will hear some chilling words from Governor Autumn. It is, uh, it is now... If you are believing in one Nigeria, if you are still believing in one Nigeria, what I am showing you now, what this governor is saying now, should hopefully wake you up. Uh, don't have any idea, entertaining any idea of 2023 elections anywhere in that contraption. Because what is going on now? What is going on? When the people, we keep saying it, the full are now up to 10 million. When 180 million people decide enough is enough, there will be no room for elections. Though. There will be no room for elections. And uh, listen to what Governor Tom says. This is really unfortunate. It means we don't have a government in place at the federal level. We don't have a government. This is very sad. Because if proactive steps were taken by arresting the and leadership, this will not happen. For several years, we have been calling on federal government to take proactive steps to address this matter they have refused to do. Yeah, we said it. We've told you that the Fulanis will never arrest the Fulani. That's why they will never sack Pantami. Pantami is the man he's been employed to do that job. He says the Minister for uh, Information, for, for Communication and uh, 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 Information Technology or whatever they want to call it, that is just a cover for you are Fulani, you are going to protect all the interests of Fulani, you will make sure that Fulanis are, are, are given first stab at everything, Fulanis growing everywhere, that's all they are. Uh, yeah, we are now all seeing it. Let's listen on. You can imagine, this is a bag in an IDD camp. They are joining villages here with the recamp and their joining villages are occupied by IDDs. Okay, and what else do you want them to do? You send these people away from their villages. They came here to take refuge. And today, they are being killed in this manner. So the federal government, as well as not allowing Magbila to table the motion about the tea people, Ahmed Wase, the deputy House of Reps speaker, prevented Macbilla from raising this issue about the, the, the displaced IDP people, thieves, who are displaced in their own land. And now today, 
Those same people are being killed. The government did not even listen. You see, that alone, that point alone with the resulting deaths created by the full, same Fulanese who are not being arrested is enough to shatter any illusion you may have about one Nigeria. Are you all listening to me, one Nigeria people? Are you all listening? Because this is the fate that will bef come before you and your family if you continue in that one Nigeria and you are in that place. These are the facts. Let's listen on. Over 70 people have been killed in the last two weeks. Did you hear? Over 70 people killed in the last two weeks. And you are talking about one Nigeria, about 2023 elections. War is here. War is here. Listen on. That is they no longer come with their country. They come because they are looking for lives of their to kill. They have even sent messages that accept lives of God refuse to take their country so that they will come and graze on our farms. And this we say no, it will not be accepted. What kind of a thing is it? What kind of a country we are in? Mr. President said the other day that the security men should shoot anyone with AK-47. And up to today, we have not heard where security men have shot them. The Minister of Defense came and reversed what Mr. President said. Hmm. That they said they are arrested and prosecuted. We the Minister of Defense came and reversed. Are you hearing me? One Nigeria people. The Minister of Defense, you are hearing from a governor, not from Citizen AY. Let me just play it back again. Listen. Defense came and reversed what Mr. President said. That they said they are arrested and prosecuted. Where are we going? How do you wake up every day and you see your people being killed? How can I be a happy man with this kind of a thing? How can I be a happy man? So please, Mr. President must do the needful. And I want to suggest that immediately let there be a security summit. I am aware that in Niger, in uh, Zamfara, all over the country, North East, North West, North Central, uh, South East, South South, South uh, 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 West, all the places, this kind of public act is being taken. By this all over the country by the same full anime. You see? And people are afraid to, to, to say Let me play that again. In case one Nigeria people uh, don't listen to what Citizen Ewa is saying. Citizen Ewa is just small fry. Uh, yes, we know that. But the governor, uh, he is a, actually a governor that is with these people in Benway. Governor Otomi, they've killed these people enough within two days. Uh, last two, two, two weeks, he said, seven, uh, two days, 70 people have been killed. And uh, you're talking about one Nigeria. No, impossible. It's not going to, it's not even work. Listen, listen. Public act is being taken by the same foreigners. And people are afraid to, to, to say, and they give them a name bandit. They're not bandits, they're foreigners. This was that. Exactly. You see, they are not bandits, they're foreigners. I came here, look at the person with them, they were seen, and they were speaking that language. And they came and insisted that they must take government to proscribe or repeal the uh, uh, prohibition of open grazing act. That will not happen. It is not my making. It's the people of Benway State that told me to do that law. I didn't sit on my own and did any law. And so no one should try and make anything. You know? So this is sad. This is sad. This is sad. My heart bleeds. And President Buhari must arise to his responsibility. As the commander in chief. How can an audio president arise? I keep asking you guys. Have you seen the video where the picture where I put up where they've got a mask and, and it's around his neck instead of it instead of it being over no, it's over his ears? Why don't why aren't they putting it over his ears? Have you ever wondered that question? I left that hanging. I didn't say too much. Why is it? Simon spoke a lot about that. The silicon thing about his ears and all that. It won't hold up because you know it's silicon it's not real it's you know all this stuff why so governor autumn if you do know about this situation why are you playing part if you're playing if you know i don't know i don't know if you even see this guy close up but if you do you should be asking questions about audio president i right? that's the that's the other thing i'd like to say but let's go on
No, sorry. Here we go. From the Air Force. If he doesn't do it, our people say that the goat doesn't bite. But when you push it to the wall, it will bite. Did you hear? A goat doesn't bite. When you push that goat to the wall, it will what? It will bite. Uh, that bite is coming on. Uh, so, one Nigeria people, again, uh, you see, this is about my fourth or fifth video this evening. I am trying to send you a message. And I hope you receive that message as it's intended. You need to wake up from that one Nigeria. Because the governor is declaring, is asking for a state of emergency. Is asking for the audio president to intervene and stop his kinsmen, his Fulani kinsmen, killing all over the country. They are all Fulanese. You've had the governor saying that they are not bandits, they are Fulanese. But you are still talking about one Nigeria. Ah, please, oh, I beg, wake up. I beg, wake up. Let's listen on. This is all right. Look at the thunderous applause. This is, this is raw emotions that's coming there because people have been killed. There are pictures I didn't show you at the beginning because if I show that picture, because when I put this on Facebook, they will block it and I don't want that. The message is important. One Nigeria is a fallacy. It's a lie. It's a fraud. The Fulanese are intent on taking the whole of the nation for themselves. And it's not even their land. We must resist them with everything we've got. And you, you will hear chilling words of Governor Autumn at the minute. We're not chilling. No other choice. You have no other choice but to issue those words. Listen. This is not accepted. This is not accepted. President Buhari was elected by the people he was advised. And do something. No other person has the responsibility of arming the security men and providing the enough equipment and funding to ensure that they eradicate this. This is too sad. Buhari cannot be playing us around because these are Fulani men doing the same thing. As I said, they want to take over our land. If not, what is the excess? You send people away from their farms and here they are in IDP camp, you come and kill them. What else do you want me to say? Buhari, if you were the governor of Benwese, what do you want me to say? Did you hear that? The essence of moving them out of moving them out, displacing them first, they move them to IDP camp, IDP camp, and then coming to kill them in the IDP camps. Do you now see that one Nigeria is a lie? Those of you who are so bent on believing in one Nigeria, I don't know what, you, whatever it is you're getting from your that one Nigeria, it is about, it is coming crashing down. It is coming crashing down. And no amount of prayers or trying to hoodwink people to still believe in it will work. Because the Fulanis are killing remorselessly and they are getting away with it. And the governor of Autumn has spoken out and exposed it. Because he's, he's been silent long enough, his people have been killed, he can't stay to market anymore. Listen. So, you must arise. And do something to stop it. They are your kinsmen. Call them. And tell them. Did you hear? The Fulani herdsmen are your kinsmen. Call them. That this is enough is enough. This is being they are taking us for granted too far. And this will not be accepted. I know the implication of telling people to go on self-help. And I want to I know the implication of telling my people to go on self-help. You see, that is code language for we are going to defend ourselves. In case you didn't understand. So one Nigeria. When Benue smack in the middle of that one Nigeria, they are telling you we are going to defend ourselves against the Fulanese. Do you still believe there's one Nigeria? I, 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 I'm trying to just, I'm just trying to understand though. Benue, Governor Autumn, you can see this is the Governor Autumn here. Oh, and he's telling these people that I don't want to do this, but we have to, to defend our lives. Because we've been killed enough. If the killing is enough, enough is enough. Do you still believe in one Nigeria? I hope. They, you see, there are, there are signs all over the place that Nigeria is crashing down. And it is not... The, the thing is, the Fulanese are by their own actions doing this. They're bringing in foreigners. 
by the mere fact of the Fulanese encouraging Fulanese for the Fulanese from other countries to come into Nigeria. As I speak today, apparently in Mali, Malians are on Ogun, between Ogun State and Ibadan on a road, and they are kidnapping. They are Fulanese. The, the government of the day brought Fulanese in because they know they haven't got the numbers to overwhelm us. So they wanted to bring the numbers in from across Africa, from Mali, from Chad, from Niger, <clears throat> from, from Cameroon, from wherever they could find it to come and oppress us in our own land. We must defend our land. Yoruba people, we must stand to stand up. Dear Francis, it's time to stand up. Middle Belt, Governor Autumn, I'm glad you are saying it. A bit late, but you are saying it. Let's listen on. Lead by God that if you are serious on this security matter, Mr. President, allow us to buy AK 47. Yeah. This is You see, I'm going to play that back again, but I'm going to actually, uh, you see, you have a right, let me, let me let him, let him, let, him, let, him, let me let him land. Make a let him land. Go on. Hold on. And this will not be accepted. I know the implication of telling people to go Listen. and accept help. And I want to repeat my call that if you are serious on this security matter, Mr. President, allow us to buy AK-47. This is you see there eh how's your one nigeria again hmm uh, with what you just had now how's your one nigeria now the governor says to defend his people is saying allow us i will go, even go further don't wait for allowing it is your right on that section 43 you have a right to life that means you have you will do by any means that you protect that life that means that you can arm yourself. You don't need to wait for authority from any government. You have the right to life. It is in their fraudulent constitution. And you will, and it is a human right as well. Under the UN, UN conventions. Every person has a right to life. And nobody shall be intentionally deprived of that life. The Fulanese are intentionally depriving us of that life. And what is worse, the federal government is supporting those Fulani is that this very same government are given AK-47 to deny Southerners their right to life. So he's absolutely right. Now, one Nigeria people, what do you see about this message? Are you getting it now that there is no one Nigeria? I hope you are getting it. Because all over the country now, the Fulani are killing people. They're inviting Fulani from other countries to come, which is treason, by the way. Treason. And they're under the guise of the fraudulent constitution. They believe they can do as they please. We need to rip that constitution apart because it's a military constitution drawn up by Fulanese for the Fulanese to oppress us Southerners. Do you understand? So, one Nigeria people, wake up. Wake up. Listen to this. Give us license so that we too can face them. Listen, listen. Give us license give so us that license. we too can face them. Yeah, give us license so that we too can face them. And you're telling me it's one Nigeria. In the same contraption, the people now, the Bene people are saying, give us license so that we too can face them. Listen again, no. Listen. So that we too can face them. You have armed your brothers. 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 Tell me, is that one Nigeria? Is that one Nigeria? Now he's saying the right thing. We've been saying it. I have been saying that many others. We've been telling everybody that the Fulanese are all over our nation. They are killing us. They want to take the land. Well, I've been saying this on Citizen AY, Oduduwa TV Radio. Mayegon has been saying it. Simon has been... Everybody uh, that, uh, that on the social media that we, we've all been raising our voices. Lady B, uh, Moba, uh, Lady K, uh, Dara Talk Show, Concern uh, 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 Heritage TV, we've been saying it. Now you have the evidence. Now, please, I hope you, those of you who are still supporting Nigeria will see that we are in a war situation now. Let's go on. 
And you have disarmed us. I saw some railways in government arrested those people who had cutlasses, who had. Uh, Did you hear? So, security forces were arming, arresting people that had cutlasses, defending themselves. You have a right to life, you shouldn't give it away. You need to, you have to defend yourself. These people are leaving us to, open to be killed. This is a war. This is genocide. Listen, by governor, listen again. The governor is telling you that we are fa in, effectively in genocide, and you're talking about one Nigeria. Wake up. U.S. government arrested those people who had cutlasses, who had uh, sword, who had this thing because they are from Benue State. How about the full the men? You know where they are. Go and deserve them. You give an order. Your defense minister will reverse the order. What kind of a thing is that? This is very, very sad. President Buhari, we are not asking you to protect us because we want favor from you. It is your responsibility. You must arise. All this one getting your eggs to speak. Um, the one thing I will say to Governor Tom, I don't know if he's if he's fully aware or not. You're talking about the audio president. He hasn't got the power. The person that should have the power now is Ashibajo. They put him in a co broom cupboard. That's what they've done. So the presidency, Garbashehu, is who you should be talking to now. Telling him, no way. You're not playing this game anymore. You need to expose everything that you know. I don't know the ins and outs, but I, that man is an audio president. That I will tell you. That is it. I, however you, you want to quantify it, you quantify it. But I'm telling you that the man that you see eh, is not the president as you know the president. That's, that's, that's all I know. Uh, they, they, you know that that is that, there is no doubt about that. There is no doubt. Uh, the man, I, the, the, I've I've seen enough evidence from my own point of view. Studied enough videos. Listen to the voice, you know, the voice patterns, everything else, to the point now that you will never hear that guy. He's got a mask. He's got a mask on. And the mask is a. You cannot. Um, um. Let me see if I can show. No, I can't show you now. I'll, maybe I will do another time. I will do a program on that. But I'm telling you. Governor Autumn, that man is not, that is an audio president. He never comes out live. You will, you will never see him among people like this. Never. Let's watch on. Because it, it is wrong. You must stand up and address the nation. And declare. And this is what I mean. He will never come and address the nation outside. It will always be recorded. I guarantee you. I got, it will be recorded. You will never. Emergency on security. Call a security summit, bring all of us together, and let us agree. And you must be sincere this time. Not just How can you trust the man that is trying to protect his kin and killed? How can you trust the man that has been arming the Fulanese, his brothers and sisters, the Boko Harams? The man is not to be trusted. The audio president or the, 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 the presidency, all of them, none of them should be trusted. None. Zero. Zero. Just playing on us. This is too far. The head of is Did you hear? You must be sincere this time. Not just playing on us. This is too far. The head of is If you want to kill us, come and kill us. Then we know that you were elected to kill all of us. I'm 60 years, I'm ready to go. If you must come and kill us, come and kill us. Come and kill me. Because I cannot be presiding over dead people. This is enough. Did you hear that? I cannot be presiding over dead people. This is enough. So tell me which part of that is one Nigeria. Which part of the statements that Governor Autumn rightfully has stated, which part of it is one Nigeria? Hmm? Which part of what he stated is one Nigeria? I'd like to know. War. We are in a war footing. He said it all over the country. North, south, east, west, south, all of it. Fulanis are killing. They are on a killing. We, this is silent genocide. The whole world is silent. And those of us within that contraption who are in the south, 
we need to stop this idea of believing in one Nigeria. One Nigeria is the altar upon which, if we're not careful, they will kill many millions of us whilst we're still talking about one Nigeria. And all they're interested in is taking the land, using whatever means necessary to take the land from us. They've de displaced deliberately, purposely, thieves from the land. And in the IDP camps they are in, they've gone to kill them there. Are you following me? Does that sound like the action of a nation that is one? Does that sound like the action of a nation that is one, led by its government? A government funding AK-47 that's handed out to Fulani men to go across the whole nation and kill non-Fulanis. Is that one Nigeria? Is that your idea of one Nigeria? As a southerner? Knowing fully well that your own key, your own folk, your own family, your own, your own um, kind, your own Yoruba, Biafra, uh, Middle Belt have been killed. And you're still going to stand up and talk about one Nigeria? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wake up. The whole governor has listed out things there that I'm, I've just told you. A whole governor. A whole governor. And what is done is absolutely spot on. Anybody else in his shoes would do the same. You would defend your people. After all, the people were the ones who elected him. And he said, at the last words, let me listen, listen to the last words of what he said. Listen. Listen to this. Listen. Come and kill us. Come and kill us. Come and kill me. Because I cannot be presiding over dead people. This is enough. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I cannot be presiding over dead people. If you want to come and kill us, come and kill us. And they asked for AK-47. They said now. Well, I, the only thing I would say is don't wait for the, gov for the government. You need to protect yourself. You have a right to life. Everybody in the South now, we need to protect ourselves. We need to get weapons. The, full and, the government is arming full and knees amongst us to kill us in the South. And we, need to, we have the right to life. We must defend those rights. Forget this religious nonsense that you're believing in praying to whatever you have now is not the time to pray but as you're praying those people will kill you they will kill you it's not about religion until you understand this is not about religion christian or muslim it's nothing to do with religion these are mere distractions to lull you into a false sense of security it's not abusing nobody's abusing your religion here nobody i'm not but i'm telling you that if you kneel down and you pray the Fulanese will come and they will kill you on the spot. They don't care about any religion. They care about getting your land. The same plan that Usman Danfudu had in 1804 is the same plan that these, people, these Fulanese have now. And it is up to us to stand up instead of believing the lies of any religion they're throwing in our face. This is not about religion. It's about your land. This is about your land. Wake up. This is not about religion. This is about your land. You understand? So, one Nigeria people, I hope you get this message. This is a message directly to those of you who still believe in one Nigeria. Watch this video back. Listen to the chilling words of Governor Autumn. He says he doesn't trust the government. We are no fools. He said, he's, he's saying to Buhari to say something. But the audio president cannot say anything. And the man, that's, the man that should be in power it's a southerner, so they won't let him. The presidency is holding illegally. They're holding 200 million people to, to a ransom. The presidency, i.e. Gabashew and the cabals behind him, is holding 200 million Nigerians to ransom. And it's time we break apart that contraption. Enough is truly enough. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Citizen Air, the platform where we speak truth to power. As ever, when you get this podcast, please share it. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.